humble to be made be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico, of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for July the 15, 2020, according to St. Matthew. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in their, ha in their branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. Jesus told the crowds all these things in parables. Without a parable, he told them nothing. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet. I will open my mouth to speak in parables. I will proclaim what has been hidden from the foundation of the world. Then he left the crowds and went into the house. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. You want to become big? Ask to be humble. There is no greater creature in the whole universe than the Holy Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary. Nothing. No one. Not even the uh, seraphims or the cherubims or nothing. Not all of them combined. Because she became the mother of God. And when Elizabeth greets her and, say, and calls her, how is it that the mother of my Lord comes to meet me? She does not become full of vain glory. But she says humbly, Blessed be God, for he saw the humbleness of his slave. You want to become great? Be like the mustard seed. Be the smallest of all. Let God make you big. But the foundation for anything good in terms of God. It's not whether you're smart or you're tall or you're beautiful or you're whatever it is. You're blonde or no, it's not. It's just that you become humble. Because that is the absolute key. When we become humble before God, which is the only way to become before Him, we are allowed and we are allowing ourselves to recognize that before of us is God, incomprehensible, inexpressible, immutable, incommensurable, infinitely loving. And then we can be filled with as much as God would grant us to be filled. If we are not humble, then we are full of ourselves. And we do not allow ourselves even to reckon God in the due diligence that we should. Think about it. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.